Yo, so what is up my broskies? My name is Lupus, and today I felt like I had a pretty good topic to talk about to you guys, and it is my opinions on Call of Duty Ghosts in Battlefield 4. As a lot of you guys know, I do have a comparison video that I will be putting up soon that I'm working on that I said that I was going to upload the second part to after E3, and it will be up soon, so don't worry about that. It'll probably be up sometime this week. I hope you guys will like that, but this video is mainly about my opinions on both of them. Which one do I think is better? And I, I don't really keep it a secret, and some of my old videos I have said Battlefield 4 was better. And that is the truth. I just am not satisfied with Call of Duty. That's not to say the game is bad. I don't feel like it's going to be a bad game. But it is going to make some changes to my channel now. And that's why in parentheses this video also says restricting COD. Because as much as I loved COD, and as much as it was like the first person shooter that I ever played... It, it also was the thing that led me to better games, such as Battlefield 4. And without COD, I never would have been there. But now that I've realized the better game, I don't really know if I'm going to be getting Call of Duty Ghost. Now, the, the reality is that I probably will end up getting it. And I will probably end up getting it after the fact, though. I will not pre-order it. I want to pre-order Battlefield 4. It's Deluxe Edition. And I only have so much money. And I could pre-order Call of Duty Ghost as well. But I don't want to. That's the thing. Uh, that doesn't mean that Call of Duty is going to be leaving my channel. It just means that I'm going to be restricting the uploads. As a lot of you guys have been know noticing lately, I haven't had that many Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uploads. I might occasionally, maybe once a week, if I just need film right then and, you know, Call of Duty is just really easy to record, then that's what I'll do. I won't have to record multiple episodes like I do on Battlefield or multiple games on Battlefield until I get a good one. On Call of Duty, you just go to the theater and record the best one that you have. And sometimes I will I will take advantage of that and I will use that. But I'm not going to be doing it as much. When Call of Duty Ghost comes around, you guys will probably see me playing Battlefield 4 because that game is what appeals to me. And uh, a lot of you may not like that, I don't know, but I, I know a lot of you guys are open-minded. A lot of my subscribers are open-minded to both games. And I know that you might be watching this and be like, oh, he's not going to be playing that. At least he has Battlefield, you know? And I'm probably going to be playing Destiny. You know, just be, being, able to restrict Call, being able to restrict Call of Duty will allow me to play other games such as Destiny and Watch Dogs. I can add more variety man, to my channel. I have so many uh, extra games in my house right now on my desk that I could easily play something else other than COD but COD is just what I do because I know a lot of you guys like that and I still will be uploading COD I don't really feel like I'm at the point where I can knock it off the table completely so don't be like oh my god he's not doing COD unsubscribe I'm still going to do it but I just may not do it quite as much which hopefully for a lot of you guys will make you guys watch videos from games that you don't generally look at. It'll maybe open your mind and open your, you know, what games you like to play. It might just open your horizon to other games that you never really thought about playing because you've been so directly set on playing Call of Duty. So this might be a win-win situation for both of us. But I really feel like I want to restrict Call of Duty because here's what happened whenever they did the release. I was watching it with my friend JD. And we were watching it, and we were like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. A new graphics engine, Call of Duty is going to be amazing. They showed us the first thing of water, and we were like, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, let's see some more. They showed us the second thing with the dog, and we were like, that's pretty cool as well. I like it. Not, not bad. Improvement for Call of Duty. And then that was it. They didn't show much of anything. I wanted to see a lot of gameplay. I wanted to see a little bit of multiplayer gameplay. I wanted to see some of the extra features that they've added. Some of the... I don't I don't know. They just didn't show enough to me. I felt like I didn't really see what I was expecting. I felt disappointed. But when they showed Battlefield, on the other hand, I watched Battlefield's release. And I watched the single player campaign, the release. And I was like, that is amazing. Later that day, I watched the multiplayer. And I was like... That is amazing. And then they had a live stream for three days during E3, the next three days. And I was like, Dice, I love you. That, that's just all I could think about, guys. Because seeing all that they were showing us, that was amazing. They were like, while Call of Duty was like, oh, this is classified. We can't show you. And Battlefield, on the other hand, was like, oh, you want to look at this? Oh, sure, go ahead and look at this. Oh, how about this? You want to see this? Okay, look at it. You want to play it? Oh, go ahead and play it. You know, stuff like that. 
And that is what E3 is all about. E3 is about showing as much as you can without giving away too much, but showing enough that it gets people pumped. I have no idea what the storyline is going to be about in Battlefield 4. It has a it has a squad called the Tombstone Squad. That's about as much as I know. I know they go through some epic stuff, but that's all I know. And then the multiplayer, I know that the multiplayer is going to be epic and that there's one map that is going to have a falling building. And that's about all that I know. I know that there's going to be about, there's only been about six confirmed weapons, and I know if they were to confirm all those weapons in Call of Duty, that would be a big deal, since that's close to how many weapons are in the game. There's about 20 to 30 weapons in Call of Duty, and releasing like six to ten weapons would not be a smart idea. But seeing as Battlefield has over 100 weapons, Battlefield 3 has over 100 weapons, I can guarantee that Battlefield 4 will have almost 200 weapons, if not more, because of the next-gen capabilities. So... That just means that they don't really care what we see. They, they've leaked out a lot of stuff as well. They leaked out a lot of stuff before and after E3, letting us see some stuff. And it's awesome. That is why I am pumped for Battlefield 4. They showed us things that Call of Duty refused to show us. And that is just... That didn't make me happy whenever I watched Battlefield 4. Or when I watched Call of Duty Ghosts. I was super happy about uh, Battlefield 4. Misspoke there, but... Call of Duty Ghosts, I will maybe probably get it. I'm going to wait until either they release more detail and then pre-order it, or I'm going to wait until the game is out. My friends have gotten it. They're like, this game is awesome. It's a lot better than the past. I might get it then. But for now, if I'm going to pre-order any games, it's Battlefield 4, Destiny, and Watch Dogs. Those are probably the games I'm going to pre-order because I think they look amazing. Battlefield 4, top of the line game. I am in love with that game. That will definitely be pre-ordered, and I'll probably pre-order Watch Dogs and Destiny because they both look amazing to me, and it'll give me something else to do on my channel that I don't usually do. So I hope you guys will like that kind of stuff. Call of Duty will be restricted on my channel, it will not be quite as often, so when you see a Call of Duty video, you will probably be pretty pretty stunned that I actually uploaded it, because I will not upload it as often as I thought. And I've seen a lot of commentators do this, such as iPhone Star for Hire, and he didn't really do Call of Duty that much to begin with, but now he's like, he's not doing it anymore. Because he realizes Call of Duty is just getting old, and Battlefield is looking better and better every time. They've taken two years to create a game, and those two years have been well, well used. Infinity Ward, on the other hand, has taken two years to make Call of Duty Ghost. They, they created a new engine that looked better than the old one, but it looks very, very similar. I don't, I'm not quite as impressed with what they were able to do in two years, while DICE, on the other hand, was able to do something completely different and amazing. So, I hope you guys did like this video. Be sure to smack that like button, give that subscribe button, just a bit of loving, guys. Hope you guys did like the gameplay in the background. I was going ham with the M249 on No Shark Canals, and... A lot of you guys will know that I do get a lot of No Shark Canals games on Battlefield because sometimes I'll have a video that I want to upload right then and I'll just grab a game plan No Shark Canals because it's impossible to go wrong on that. And that is just, a, just an amazing map. It is more chaotic than anything you'll ever play in Call of Duty. And that is a misconception is that Battlefield is slow. And as you guys can see in this gameplay, Battlefield is not by any means slow. Sure, there are games such as Conquest and stuff where most of the battles go on in vehicles or most of the battles come out, go on near flags. And you have to get to the flag in order to start fighting. But there is Team Deathmatch, there is Squad Deathmatch, there is Squad Rush, all these smaller game modes, Domination, where they were all close quarters and small and you can just get into massive firefights that are just way worse than they were in Call of Duty and that is a common misconception and that is just another reason why I'm looking forward to Battlefield 4 I've never had such chaos happen around me until I played Battlefield but I hope you guys did like this video it was a very good little gameplay for you guys and if you did like this video be sure you smack that like button as I said and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and check out some of my old videos, subscribe, uh, and then stay tuned for my next video as well. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.